Hi guys, good morning. Um, ako nga pala si Zore Mangado and you can call me Renz. So, um, hindi ako masyadong nag-vlog. Uh, first time kong mag-vlog is uh, yung uh, pasyal namin ng family ko sa sa Sirao. Dun sa, dito sa Cebu. So, uh, nainggan nyo ako mag-vlog ulit kasi ah, uh, na intriga ko sa uh, mga pakulo ni Kaalaman. Uh, kilala niyo naman si Kaalaman, isa siya sa mga hinahangaan ko ng marami sa atin sa, na YouTube influencer. Yung mga contents niya all of uh, more on conspiracies, um, mga social and government issues and many more Ma, uh, mga interesting topics. So, yun. Um, itong second vlog ko ay informal So please bear me Hindi <laughs> po ako marunong mag-edit Or like uh, the usual expert vloggers sa, sa YouTube na yan. So please bear me So this is just a raw uh, uh, video reviews About um, conspiracies, government and social issues and more interesting topics and now sisimulan ko sa mga pakulo ni um, Kaalaman so now let's start uh, si Kaalaman as you've known uh, for this past few days naging matunog yung kanyang Facebook at Youtube uh, page kasi kasi nga sa mga weirdong mga post na nakita ng kanyang mga subscribers followers, isa na ako dun so yun um, dahil dun sa unang post niya na about weird um, combination of letters um, na akala ng marami na pinaglaroan yung uh, facebook account niya ng bata or ng anak niya so, ang daming natatawa or what not. Then, the next, that was March 4, I think. Then, after that, sinunda ng um, ng ng ganun din, weirdong uh, mga post sa page niya. Then, dun um, ang ila nagsimula ng mag-isip. Anong nangyari kay kaalaman? kung nahak ba yung account niya or what so marami nang nag-iisip talaga then hindi pa nasagi sa isipan ng marami na yung mga letters na yun na pinos niya ay can be considered as codes or cryptic codes na sinasabi ng ilan so yun, balikan natin yung post niya so this is just a row. I hope you bear uh, with my explanation. Kasi napaka interesting talaga ng topic na to at yun. Uh, before before we proceed to the codes, uh, let me explain to you about uh, about this. Na um, it can be considered as an alternative reality game or ARG. So, ang alternative reality game ay isang uh, laro na sumikat kamakailan lang like 2004 na pinasika uh, sinimulan ng Seikada 3301. So, ang dami ko na. So, let's start sa ARG muna. So, what is ARG? Let's ask Google. ARG para meron tayong uh, exact explanation so an alternative reality game or ERG is an interactive network narrative that uses the real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by players, ideas, or actions. So, yan. 
This the form is defined by intense player involvement with a story that takes place in real time and evolves according to players' responses. So yun. Uh, itong game na to ay nakasalalay sa sa mga reaction ng mga subscribers, followers ng Game Master. Sa larong ito, ang game na Master ay si Kaalaman. Sige. So now, uh, I mentioned about Saikada 3301. So, as a summary, Saikada 3301 can be considered or they are actually the IT team of um, the Illuminati. So, you know who are they. Right? So, Saikada 3301. I've actually researched about this. So, based on my um, understanding, Saikada 3301 uh, is a nickname given to an organization on three occasions as posted a set of puzzles to recruit code breakers from the public. So, um, if you have watched um, uh, the vlog of Kaalaman about Seikata, Seikada 3301, you can just watch it for better understanding. So, just a summary or um, a glimpse of who and what are they. So, sila yung mga parang secret um, organization um, organized organization hiding in the shadows na para silang mga Illuminati talaga, IT team ng Illuminati so um, I watched the movie Se Dark Web Sekada 3301 uh, they actually exist in the dark web so as we've known um, the surface web web, web uh, na alam natin yung mga websites na pwede nating ma-access lang easily they, it's only a small portion of the iceberg um, uh, in analogy so hindi pa talaga natin alam yung whole structure ng world wide web so we are just in the surface web and under that the big the, uh, it's like the sir um, uh, the surface web is only 4% of the whole structure of the world wide web then 94% of that is the deep web pero Cicada doesn't only exist in the deep web so 96% ang dami nating mga websites mga information data na hindi natin basta basta ma-access because they composed of like gambling, terrorism, conspiracy, um, paranormal activities na hindi kayang i-contain ng, ng nakakarara, nakararamin kasi hindi kayang maintindihan or um, i-stomach, i-digest ng ating understanding baka matroma or basta, yunan. Then, Sekada 3301, they don't only exist in the deep web. They exist in the dark web. So, much worse. So, uh, yun na nga. Some, um, if you can watch the movie Dark Web, um, Sekada 3301, you, you will better understand. And it would be really helpful if you would research more. And... Um, going back to the vlog of Kaalaman about Sekada 3301, he's really fond of this. Uh, kasi nga, he must, ano siya, inclined to conspiracy, sci-fi, yung ganun. Alam, alam niyo na what I mean. So, yun. He even made three vlogs about it explaining and I really watched it. So, yung pagka-explain niya, talagang idol ko si Kaalaman kasi more detailed, very knowledgeable, and he he can see um, in every um, perspective and even outside of the box. So, yun. 
try to watch his uh, vlog about Cicada 3301. So now, bakit nga ba sinasabi ko yung alternative uh, reality game ARG or Cicada 3301? Cicada 3301 is just um, a type of ARG or alternative reality game na kung saan ang, ang game master ay yun na nga gumagamit ng social media internet um, platforms technology to coincide or like um, initiate or facilitate um, this kind of game So, nagsimula ito, I don't know when started. This started uh, January 4, 2012, for the here. So, yun. Uh, ano pa ba? Um, yun na nga, Cicada 3201 is a type of ARG. Dahil nga, um, very inclined si kaalaman sa... Cicada 3301 sa ARG um, sa palagay ko lang gi, ito yung purpose niya or ginagawa niya ngayon kaya explanation don kasi naging series na to eh uh, mahabang teleserye na to um, although hindi pa ganun kahaba kasi nga kailan lang to nung simula this March uh, but before this started Um, doon sa vlog niya about kay Elis Soriano vlog ni Kaalaman sa last part nun sinabi niya na magsisimula siya ng isang national or even international project sa kanyang page na kung saan um, lahat tayo as in literal na lahat tayo magiging kasama sa larong ito or players sa kanyang laro at ito na nga yan. so going back sa kanyang page uh, March 4 nagsimula yung first weird uh, post weird words uh, letters na pinos ni kaalaman then yun na nga at first we thought na napaglaruan lang yung kanyang facebook page then After that, the second time around, nagpost post siya about dun sa weird post again. Then, dun, like, 25% ng kanyang subscribers, followers, nagtataka na na ano kaya nangyari sa kay Kaalaman, bakit ang weirdo ng mga pinopost niya. So, sa 25% na yun, sila yung nagsimulang mag-decrypt or mag-decode or mag-decipher ng mga letters, weirdong letters. And then, yun na nga, that they found out that the first post ay um, they actually used um, Cesar um, Cryptex or I don't know the term for the software Uh, the website software that says our cryptics, I think, uh, na ginamit nila to decode or decipher the codes. Sa first post, ay isa pala itong code na, na it means uh, decrypted as 1212123. So, ibig sabihin, Nung araw na yun, nung time na yun na pinost niya, ibig sabihin na tinetest niya, ah, I'm sorry, test mic, test mic, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin nun, tinetest ni Kaalaman yung kanyang mga subscriber, followers, kung he got our attention. And then, the second time around, around yung post niya, yung weird Uh, post niya it means as decrypted as um, connection established I'm in so which means nakuha na niya yung attention niya natin ng mga kanyang mga followers 
at nahook na tayo sa kanyang game kasi may ilan na nag-aalala na sa kanya then the third code which means uh, which means uh, ano yan? sorry um, the third code which means what was that uh, 737 post meridian so that 7:37 p.m. sa second second post niya sinabi niya na he already got our attention so nasa game na niya tayo then the third post uh, sabi 7:37 post meridian or p.m. yun yung abbreviation ng post meridian p.m. so yun um, ibig sabihin noon 7:37 p.m. magpo-post siya and the, that time the the game will start. At yun na nga yung video na nakaka napaka creepy na pinost niya na merong ano uh, picture codes. Um mamaya na explanation doon. Kasi doon na nag-aalala yung mga tao. Pati ako nag-aalala. Anong nangyari sa kanya? Uh, baka kinidnap or ano uh, na trace yung location niya yung identity niya kasi kaka-dive niya sa dark web so yun tin siya or if not don't, may kinalaman don sa last uh, YouTube uh, post niya about Pepsi Paloma kasi ki- binabangga niya yung mga, mga malalaking tao at mamaya ng explanation kung sino mga yun at alam nyo na kung sino sila so I will also explain about the progress of this game sa mga binibigay ni um, ni kaalaman ng uh, progressive codes or clues so yun ang daming nang nag-aalala sa kanya sa post, video post niya na 10 seconds na yun uh, maraming nagsabi na kininap siya ganun nung mga taong binangga niya sa post niya na Pepsi Paloma and then after that dahil nga maraming nag-alala mga co-vloggers niya si Alam Niyo Bato uh, at iba pa si Evad PUP na pinafollow ko din yun, ang dami ng mga theories about doon so certainly, absolutely a fact that um, he is okay although yung sa post niya napaka creepy, nakapag-aalala talaga, maraming ang sa- nagsasabi na uh, tigilan niya yung pakulo niya kasi ang daming nag-aalala na followers niya, baka, baka mag-unfollow pa, pero well, come on um, lawakan natin yung pag-isip natin um, matalino si uh, kaalaman at yung page niya is all about kaalaman so yung gusto niyang uh, magiging knowledgeable din tayo at we are not only um, enclosed in a box like kung anong pinapakita sa atin uh, hindi tayo agad-agad na naniniwala sa mga nakikita at naririnig natin so we really have to research more deep into the uh, facts, decode if necessary yun ang gusto niyang mang- mangyari at gawin natin bilang mga followers niya at yun na nga um, subscribers so yun um, going back let's go back to the details of the codes yun na nga sa the last three posts uh, decrypted using Cesar uh, crypts and maraming mga co-vloggers na nag um, decode nito yun na nga yung mga ibig sabihin na nagpapatunay na okay lang si uh, kaalaman, walang masama nangyari sa kanya, okay? So, ito ay isang part lamang ng kanyang laro or alternative reality game dahil nga fan siya nito especially si Kada3301, gusto niya rin uh, gawin ito sa kanyang page, which sinabi niya nga sa previous uh, vlog niya about Eli Soriano on the last part na meron siyang gagawing national or even international project para sa kanyang page. At ito na nga yun, ARG. 
So, it's, ang ARG isang mind game, internet puzzle, na para lang sa mga matatalino, or <laughs> feeling matalino, uh, regardless, basta, yun na nga. Um, na, dahil nga, naintriga tayo, the moment na na, naintriga tayo at nag-research about kung anong nangyari sa kanya, anong ibig sabihin ng kanyang mga post, that's the time na we are already part of this game. So, sa game na to, uh, we don't know the rules, we don't know the goal, but we know who is the mastermind and who are the players. Tayo yung player, ang mastermind is si, si ka Kaalaman. So, now, going back to the latest uh, recent progress. After nung nagpost siya about creepy video clip na 10 seconds, uh, nagpost siya again, uh, pinalitan niya yung um, picture, profile picture niya ng parang blurred, uh, pixelated picture about parang brown graphite marble tiles yata ito na ma sa gitna merong uh, tinakpan ng blue colored um, pic picture ng mukha ulo ng isang tao at sa gitna merong mga dots and rectangle um, codes I believe these are codes and as what uh, been discovered by the co-vloggers they said that uh, these are Morse codes Morse codes are used sa mga military o American or um, maraming version ng Morse codes American pero usually uh, inintroduce ito sa Boy Scout um, I, I can still remember na uh, inintroduce to sa amin noon pero I, ju I just forgot so meron namang internet so yun kaya um, na, naalala ko itong Morse code na to at dahil sa tulong ng ibang mga solvers nito um, uh, it's decoded as hello I'm impressed so si I believe si Kaalaman to kasi nga siya yung game master it's not because his account was hacked or what not he is the game master pakulo niya to okay so understood na yan so meaning to say hello I'm impressed he is impressed to us kasi um, marami sa atin ang na nakapag decode so impressed siya sa kanyang mga followers kasi ginagamit natin yung utak resources natin so yun, kasi nga para saan pa yung page niya sabi nga niya ba kung ikaw ay may kaalaman ay hindi ka malalamangan so yun um, going back to the recent progress nag post siya sa my day niya Although, marami pa rin, uh, even me, open pa rin ako sa possibility na baka nga nasa panganib yung buhay niya. Kasi, uh, dahil sa mga uh, my day uh, pictures na pinapost niya, unang my day photos is yung uh, picture ng talahiban na blurred na para bang tumatakbo yung kumuha nito, tsaka yung yung logo niya na parang may kung anong kulay pula, dugo ba yun o ketchup, pakulong niya, or ano ba ba tsaka yung ano ba yan, yung yun nga <laughs> yan yung creepy video clip na 10 seconds na parang hinihingal yung lalaki na umiiyak nagtatago tapos may nakaposas ng puti may taling puti so yun, it would really create a confusion or a strong feeling of fear sa mga audience 
mga players kung ano talagang nangyari sa kanya baka at na trace na siya nung mga taong binabangga niya sa Pepsi Paloma vlog niya or na trace siya ng mga Illuminati dahil sa kakadive niya sa dark web or what not we don't know yet kaya nakasubaybay tayo sa mga susunod na clues na ipopost niya so just recently nagpost siya sa my day niya about ayan ayan um, about sa boots tsaka yung yung um, paa prosthetic um, mannequin leg leg with toes tsaka with capital letter S and sa background merong kamay na nag nakagloves na naghuhuga sa sink. Yan. Tsaka sa taas, merong um, mga codes na naman. Tsaka next slide sa my day niya is wala na yung code tsaka yung boots and legs with S. Is yung kamay na naghuhugas na nakagloves sa sink lang. Then followed by yung chill t-shirt niya na sinuot niya dati nung nagkaalaman reveal siya pero of course wala yung mukha niya nagkaalaman reveal niya dati na nagpatato siya sa braso niya ng ka kaalaman logo then followed by yung graphite graphite um, brown graphite tiles ewan kung ibig sabihin niyan we will just know later then followed by by ancient Filipino by Bayan before the alfabeto natin uh, I know we can decrypt this and then followed by blurred photo of Pepsi Paloma who on the side is the red closing or opening door so we will decrypt that later and then followed by Ele Buendia reveals kung saan all over with red um, photo and gray photo. So, yun. Um, uh, and this has been decrypted already by uh, the solvers kanina lang before ako mag start ng vlog. So, yun. Let's go back to the details. I already have posted this. The explanation of those um uh, recent post clues ni kaalaman so I will just check my post alright so meron ng mga groups na kaalaman solver uh, group uh, Facebook groups kaya this is really very intriguing and this is really something big um, I know big then something big then yung price <laughs> sa mga winners so yun, ang dami nang na intriga talaga ang dami nag share sa post ko so yun um, at first yung blurred photo ni Pepsi Paloma with the red door I interpreted it as like uh, Kaalaman wants to let us know that Paloma, Pepsi Paloma's case that's why he blurred it because it doesn't ha have any connection to the ARAG or sa kanyang laro with uh, the red door na pabukas ay, ay pa, pa, pasara means case closed na so wag na nating i-connect to sa kanyang laro pero may nag-comment din sa post ko sabi na red door means welcome so I don't know why it becomes welcome pero I'm still open for that possibility then sabi dito 
sa isang photo clue niya, Elebrindia Song Scholarium Reveal with the red picture ni, I think the, uh, meron ng di, uh, interpretation dito kanina na itong red picture with uh, tinabunan ng red color and gray and I believe this is a photo of uh, Pepsi Paloma sa gitna ng photo clue na with Ellie Buendia reveals song 2 hours um, all around scattered so yun ibig sabihin nito it's really difficult to just um, stop connecting the the Pepsi Paloma case or interpreting the red door as case closed stop blurred photo of uh, Pepsi Paloma kasi of this other photo that says I live with the year reveals red Pepsi Paloma photo in the middle parang they're contradictory uh, puzzle so we still we're still we still open our minds to this possibility that it's not really yet closed yet so uh, just be uh, lawakan natin yung ating pag-isip so yun at kung nakita niyo yung post ng G GMA News they posted the uh, um, statement of Ellie Buendia shares the real story behind the Eraser Head's hit song Spolarium which fans related with Pepsi Paloma's controversial red case so sabi niya Spolarium is one of those cases really the myth sort of taking over the facts and I kinda like it I kinda like the myth because of as for the meaning of the song it's really mundane so according to Ellie Buendia the song Spolarium is just a myth kasi the fans are connecting this to the Pepsi Paloma case but I don't think so kasi there's really something that kaalaman wants us to know what's the connection of the Spolarium Ellie Buendia with Pepsi Paloma and the three uh, uh, the two Sotos and Vic uh, Joey De Leon so I mentioned names pero I'm not saying that they're really um, did something as what the, the other bloggers said or disclaimer lang to okay just to be safe so yun this is just a review um, conspiracy okay so yun it's really intriguing and interesting that even G GMA news has become part of the game kasi the moment they reported this they are already part of the game and totoo nga sabi ni kaalaman that this project ARE, ARG project na gagawin niya this would really involve national uh, to the national or even international level so what would you think would happen next international so Illuminati FBI or CIA or NSA or um, Cicada 3301 might get involved to this later on as we progress to this game so yun so far yun lamang ang mga progress ay yeah I forgot to mention meron pa pala so I just posted this another clue um, this clue was um, just I just saw this uh, on the Facebook post as well so I just posted it again so my post um, other clue again uh, which interpreted or decoded um, as be beware of um, bootlegs yung may photo na may boots tsaka man mannequin legs with S and on the background with the naghugas kamay ng glove with the gloves on it <laughs> so yun uh, sa sync with the, those uh, scripts or codes merong term na to um, 
I just forgot what was this. Uh, let's check my my day. I just posted this on my day. So yun. Um, okay, I forgot to post this on my day. Sorry. So yun. Uh, my term doon sa pa, uh, ginamit sa pag-decrypt doon sa my boots to ka legs. Uh, which means um, beware. Yung code na yun means beware. May kaakibat or corresponding letters yung mga codes na yun. So yun. May tamang term yun. I uh, just forgot. Uh, pwede nyo rin i-check sa post ko. So, yan. Um, beware of... Yung unang interpretation ko is be, beware of bootlegs. Pero mali yun. Kasi yung, yung boots, ka, we can interpret it or decode it as show. Now, go back to the, the prosthetic leg, mannequin leg. Yung bra na yun is auto. Now with the a, capital S. So, beware of, that's already established. Now, the show autos. So, yun. It sounds like so, sotos. Beware of sotos. Yun ang sabi. Okay? It's only a clue. Okay, I'm not against anybody, but I believe it's uh, already been uh, featured sa mga blogs ng bloggers. Marami ng bloggers nang nag, nag feature dito na one time daw, the, the two Sotos and Joey De Leon have made their public apology pero walang mahagilap na video doon. They made that like 1980s and wala nang video na mahanap sa ginawa nilang public apology doon sa Pepsi Paloma case. And why they would say apology or sorry if they have not done something wrong? Okay? But I I did not say in anything let the NBI do the investigation. And I believe Kaalaman has the idea and that's why he's giving us this clues. And I also believe that this information that Kaalaman got, get, uh, was from the dark web. Kaya ingat-ingat naman, buddy sa pagdive mo sa dark web you know how dangerous it is alright so lastly yung clue is na brown graphite tile na may codes na hello I'm impressed yung blue blue color na yun merong naglagay ng photo sa gitna ni Joey De Leon at naging tugma doon sa blue na ulo ng isang tao yun ay photo ni Joey De Leon anong ibig sabihin ni kaalaman dito hello I'm, I'm impressed with the photo of Joey De Leon so si Joey De Leon nag sa account ni kaalaman na siya, siya na yung gumawa doon or nag si Joey De Leon na i ang account ni Kaalaman after nung Pepsi Paloma video niya I don't know I'm just saying na that could be possible pero anong ibig sabihin ni Kaalaman dito kung hindi na yung account niya di ba so we will know more about this sa uh, progressing clues na ibibigay ni Kaalaman. So, this is really exciting, you know. Um, if you have watched the movie Dark Web, um, 
Cicada 3301, you should watch this so that meron kayong background about how did Cicada 3301 facilitate this game and this is real this is historical and you research more about Cicada um, watch the video of Kaalaman about this Cicada 3301 so that mas maging malawak ang inyong knowledge and understanding yung perspectives nyo so we can interpret yung clues na ibibigay ni kaalaman sa susunod na araw alright so yun lang po sa ngayon um, hopefully nagustuhan nyo at yung mga information na na ibinigay ko at, at nakuha ko sa ibang mga solvers and bloggers will help you solve this because you are also a player so let's play the game.